So now you have gotten to a higher dimension of angels. So when you have that, now hear this. So when you sit down with the same revelation, even if it's not big revelation, close your eyes, switch off your life. Don't put any sound. If you want to put a sound, it should be only a sound to distract you from losing focus. Whenever you see prophets saying, I like that song, don't trust me. They are not doing that song to just worship God. It's a song to distract their lack of focus. So whenever you want to think about something else while he's prophesying, that song creates the environment to block my ears from hearing anything else except that. So almost every prophet has got a song that they like or songs that they say, sing that one when I'm about to prophesy. Why? They are blocking, they are making the environment their own. This is why Brother Branham would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I put the spirits of these people under my control. So everyone who is in the service under Brother Branham would be cooperating in his environment. He creates the environment and makes the environment his own. So you create a situation in your house, in your room, not your bedroom, not the place you normally use. Just go secretly and go switch off the lights and put music if you are the uh, too distracted uh, young men you might be and 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 you put songs around just one it doesn't have to say a lot that you then concentrate on the song can you just be instrumentals christian instrumental and just think of what the lord has done on the cross. keep it you can just focus on one thing jesus coming off coming out of coming out of the grave before you do it before you finish all of a sudden you will see pictures you never saw you see him come out of that grave you see him greet some people and yet the bible never said he greeted anyone you see things that you like ha huh? huh? no 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 who was this one who touched him when this happened how come they the stone rolled away after Jesus was out. I thought it was in and then the stone rolled away. Then you go in the scriptures and go like, ah, the stone rolled. The angels rolled the stone for the woman to come in and anoint his body. Not for Jesus to come out. Mm. And when they got in, they said, we thought he would be here and we were wondering who would roll the, the stone away but we found it rolled away for what god was intending for the women to manage to get in and see the miracle wow ah uh, uh, now 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 but that revelation you will not get it you will read the scriptures but it is in times of quietness your quiet moment where you begin to see gaps in scripture and that can be fulfilled in your reasoning and in your spirit that you say, wait a minute. Uh, let me just search again what it says here. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I miss this? Part? Where is this scripture? Boom, it's there. Ah, I never read this. Then you think, what happened? It's in your quiet time that God begins to fill in the blanks in Mount Zion. As you move like that, every day you do that. Find your time where you just go relax. Sometimes you catch yourself after that. You catch yourself drifting to it like it's asleep. And you go like, you know, it wasn't like a dream. It was a dream, but it's not a dream. It seems as if you were between dreaming and waking up. That's a trance. That trance position is a Mount Zion moment. Wow. And when you can do that in, out, in, out, in, out, you can literally decide when money is lacking in your house. You go in the middle of this, and boom, the money is coming out. And the coming, the money is coming. And the coming is now. And the money is here. And this is here. It, be key, it begins here in a moment of quietness. I'm telling you this truth now. You thank me for years to come. These are things that we hide from people so that we can be superhuman ourselves.
as prophets and teachers and apostles and, and people who are spiritual. So we come to you, uh, you know, uh, you, you commoners, and we act all portion big because we manage to crack these little secrets and we never tell you the little secret. And we then tell it to those who are faithful to us. And then the faithful to us betray us later on. So better, I guess, give you all. Whosoever becomes faithful, becomes faithful. And, and at least the, everyone has it. Now, so, so, you sit down and you begin to realize it. That it's not just prayer, it's quietness. It says God, Jesus would retreat on his own time, in his own time. To be quiet on his own. He would drift from people. Sometimes it was prayer, sometimes it was just quietness. It says as it was his time to wake up early. Jesus was, it was a formality. The disciples would wake up, Jesus, 3 a.m. is up, pray. This is God praying. You, take with it, you, Ogoro, you, you find God in your mind at 12 or 1 p.m. Jesus would do 3 a.m., 2 a.m. The Bible tells us it was a norm for him. The disciples would find him praying. God is praying at 2 a.m. You, you are sleeping at 8 p.m. I'm so tired. I've been so busy. How much money have you made with how busy you are? The richest man, the richest black man, Dangote. He has what? He you know, sleeps four hours, right? Four hours. Works 18 hours. 16 hours. 16 hours. And then two more hours will be bathing and sleeping. And then the other hours is up. Doing whatever he's doing to prepare for work. You, no money. Zero. Broke is broken. Sleep time, 10 hours. The Bible says a little sleep and a little slumber. And poverty will catch you like a thief, not like a robber. It says, and lack like a robber. Poverty will catch you like a thief. And lack like a robber. Every time you'll be lacking, every, you don't know why. That's a lack. I don't have it today. Why? Because poverty came like a robber, pointed a gun in your face and go like, all the money have we taken now. Poverty will catch you like a thief and lack like a robber. You will find yourself poor. You don't know why. Because poverty caught you like a thief. It just went and grabbed the money, stole it from you. And you don't know why you lack. You lack quiet time with God. Everything you do, you are always online. You are always researching something. You are on YouTube today. You are on, looking at people who have made it in. All that time, if you just say to yourself, I'm going to do one hour of quiet time with God. And in that moment, I'm sober. I'm thinking in a sober way. I'm calm. I'm dealing with what God wants me to do. Imagine if it's only one hour for your soberly moments. And then another hour of dealing with money. Maybe 20 minutes of dealing with what your life is going direction. Trust me, you write so many things. So you are quiet like this. You have a notebook. Even if it is lines, no lines, it's still okay. Just wait there and put it there. Don't force it. Like, oh, I think I'm hearing this. No, you're not. Just focus on one picture. On one picture. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You will see one thing. You start drifting up. You will get tired. Sometimes you get, it gets tiring. And when it's dark there, you drift. You lock into a certain location before you know it. Because you see, your subconscious mind has been driven to only like one area.